Okay, so what we're going to demonstrate is percussion. Percussion can be done anywhere, and what I'd like you to do is to practice it, first of all, on a pillow, on your lap. So this could be on, on your lap, or you can have a pillow on the bed, whatever's most comfortable for you. But you do need to have your elbows tucked in, so that that gives you more wrist flexibility. If you have your elbows out, then you're a little bit like a puppet, and it's going to be more exhausting. So tuck your elbows in. I want you to get a cupped position with your hand so that that's the sound we're looking for. Nice cup, hollow sound. So no hole here. If you've got a hole or a little eye in between your thumb and the first finger, then that will lose your air in there. So we want a cup, not a slap. So if you listen to the sound you're producing, it should be a little bit like a horse trotting. So we're going to take that cupped position onto the pillow and we're just going to practice alternate hands up and down. Now the main thing is keep your elbows tucked in and have a loose wrist. And all I want you to do is get that nice rhythm. Now, some of you will find this easier than others. But the more practice you have on your lap or on your leg or on a pillow for this rhythm, the better it's going to be. Trying to make sure you keep that cupped hand, fingers close together, and keep a nice rhythm, even rhythm. Then we're going to do a karate chop. This is hacking. Now again, it's a loose hand. It's not a karate chop. We're not trying to hurt the clients. We're trying to keep the wrists loose. And again, we're going to keep that alternate hand rhythm. So fingers relaxed, wrists relaxed, but elbows tucked in. That gives you more wrist flexibility. Then we're going to go for beating. Now, beating is palms down. Now, we're not literally beating the hell out of our pillow or our client. We're going to have a relaxed palm. So it's a bit flappy. So we're having loose wrists, relaxed fingers, and again, as much wrist flexibility as we can get. So that's beating. Then we have pounding. So pounding is with the ulnar border coming down here, the little finger. So we're going to do pounding. Again, we've got a nice, open, relaxed palm.